we've been here for around seven months now um, and uh, we're just finishing up uh, here on site. Obviously when we, when we came here we knew that there was a Norman church which was used into the 1860s. We found that underneath that there was a, an earlier structure, a pre-Norman structure, which seems to have had some use probably during the Saxon period. But really, really excitingly uh, we have found that that was actually used even earlier uh, in the Roman period and it seems to basically be a mausoleum. We've had three uh, funerary monument statues which are Roman. Uh, we've had a really really nice glass vessel which is uh, they're found in relation to uh, mausoleum. This is one of the sculptures that we have found um, from our ditch on site. It's a really remarkable piece of sculpture and really really beautifully done. Um, the head actually fits on this set of shoulders and this one looks uh, like a woman. She's got a fantastic set of braids or headdress around her head. So you can see just how amazing this piece of sculpture really is. Um, it's a really beautiful piece of work. We've also found this amazingly complete glass vessel. Um, it's hexagonal in shape and we do have um, some smaller pieces of glass that would make it uh, almost complete. It's a large jug shaped uh, vessel with the rim here and a handle over here as well. And the fact that it has survived in such a complete state underneath all the rubble that we found in the ditch as well is really amazing. The quality of the glass is really, really impressive. Um, it's so good that it, it almost looks modern and you'll get a sense of the shape of the vessel. If I just hold this piece here, you can see how tall it would have been and where the rim was. Um, there is a similar vessel that was found in Tunisia that's actually stored in uh, the Metropolitan Museum in New York. That is the only comparison we've able, been able to find uh, so far. This site has not stopped surprising us all the way through. It's been a really fantastic job to be working on um, as archaeologists. And this really is the cherry on the cake, but that phrase doesn't, really doesn't quite cover just how excited we really are uh, having found this. It, they're so rare, so unique, and to have found two um, complete ones with a third head is just utterly remarkable for us as archaeologists.